Okay, folks, a little disclaimer here. So I am recording this part right now because uh, my original unboxing video of the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus is already pre-recorded, but then the embargo got postponed. So it's a small request to please uh, bear with me for the rest of the part. The Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus launch is still uh, two days away, but uh, wait a second. I have the device right here with me. Let's unbox. <laughs> Yes guys, this is an early bird unboxing of the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus just for you beautiful people. Of course, three phones are launching in the Redmi Note 13 series. I have the top end Note 13 Pro Plus here with me and this one has a lot going for it. There are a slew of upgrades and I'm going to talk about each one of them and give you my first impressions. Hello everyone, I'm here for Fiber by India Today and now let's get started. So this is the box of the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus. Gone is the phone that used to come in earlier uh, Redmi launches. So uh, the phone's name now comes at the front, Note 13 Pro Plus 5G. Some key features listed at the back, quite a fat box. Okay, let's quickly pop this open. Okay, we get a sleeve up top. And what do we have here? Let's open it. There's a SIM eject pin right here. And apart from this, I'll quickly, there's some paperwork. And there's a silicone case. Okay, there's a good quality silicone case right here. Let's keep this aside. And uh, this is the phone. I'll take it out. Okay, this is the black colorway, white shimmery, very nice, curved on both the sides. We'll get back to this in a bit. And uh, next up, the 120 watt charging brick, USB-A. And we also have the USB-A to USB Type-C cable. So yeah, that's about it for the unboxing guys. Let's keep this aside and uh, I'll first set up the phone and I'll get back to you with my first impression. Okay guys, I've set up the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus and of course a detailed review of this phone is already in the works. So if you don't want to miss that, then definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and also turn on the bell so that you don't miss any of our latest updates. For now, let's take a look at what has changed here. So design-wise, quite a lot. I mean, I actually like the curved nature of this phone. In comparison to the Note 12 Pro Plus, the 13 Pro Plus actually feels more comfortable to hold. And if you haven't noticed by now, the front also features a curved display. I will get back to this in a bit. So at the rear, the 13 Pro Plus has this two-tone finish, very interesting design. This is the black colorway, but there's also a white and a light purple hue, which is surely going to attract a lot of eyes. Now I have seen the purple colorway of the 13 Pro Plus just a few days back and with the vegan leather back, that is one hell of a unique finish. Finally, one last big addition before I move on to the display and that's the inclusion of IP68 dust and water resistance on the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus. Okay, on to the display and it also has received some major upgrades. Now it is still an AMOLED and it also has a 120Hz refresh rate but now it is a 12-bit panel. It is curved so it looks quite premium. There is Gorilla Glass Victus protection. It is also higher resolution and brighter than before at 1800 nits. Also for the first time on a Redmi Note, there's an in-display fingerprint sensor which works quite reliably and fast. So first impressions of the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus when it comes to the multimedia experience, well, the display is vivid and nice and the dual speakers on offer are loud and full. I will talk more about this in the full review. Other key highlights include the Dimensity 7200 Ultra processor under the hood. My unit here has 12 GB RAM and 256 GB storage. Additionally, there's a 5000 mAh battery under the hood with 120 watt fast charging support. Now here are some benchmark scores on your screens. Right now you can pause and take a look, but yes, looking at the numbers, they look quite promising. 
Now, of course, uh, the scores are still not on the level of, say, an IQ Neo 7 Pro that has a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip under the hood. But uh, for now, uh, let's uh, reserve the final judgment for the review part. And of course, we'll be doing more comparisons down the line. So we'll know more about uh, the real world performance of uh, the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus. Software wise, uh, there's MIUI 14 atop Android 13. I hope there was Android 14 here out of the box, but uh, never mind. Additionally, there are two years of Android OS software support plus uh, three years of security updates. Moving on, in terms of camera, there's still a 200 megapixel resolution camera at the rear, but uh, the sensor is different. Additionally, there's also an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera and a 2 megapixel macro camera. And for selfies, there's a 16 megapixel snapper. Now, here are some photo samples for you to check out. Of course, we will be doing a detailed camera analysis of, on this phone. But uh, for now, uh, let me know your thoughts about these images in the comments below. And yes guys, that's about it for the unboxing and first impressions of the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus. Of course, the device is looking quite solid, but come on, we are talking about a Redmi Note here. And also, no, just like last year, the prices are not going to be on the lower side because the features and upgrades on offer are quite legit and better than that Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus. So for sure, the phone is good, but also expect a starting price of about 30,000 to 35,000 rupees to go with it. Rest, I will catch you all very soon in another video. And uh, for all things tech, stay tuned to Fiber. Thank you for watching.